here with JT. But uh, yeah, welcome to the show, guys. Uh, it's been uh, been about a, two years, I think, since I've done a show. Uh, just been doing a lot of work on the marketing side of things. Um, I wasn't actually going to do a podcast today, but I'm going to do a shorter one. Um, just because this week is kind of crazy in terms of just everything that I got going on. But I wanted to definitely get on and just speak my mind a little bit. Again, show my face, you know, show my uh, voice. <laughs> Someone complimented and said I had a nice on-air voice, so thank you. I appreciate that. I was always, when I first started getting into podcasting, well, first of all, 11 years ago, my voice wasn't as deep as it is now, even though it's not very deep. But it was much, much higher. Um, and I also didn't know how to talk in a broadcasting voice or enunciate and enhance certain words when you're supposed to, et cetera, et cetera. But kind of, you know, I learned that along the way. But um, it, it's crazy as I was always self conscious about my voice because I don't have a traditional radio voice. You know, it's not like, Hey, you know, how are you? Like, you know, that was a really bad impression, but you know, you don't have, I don't have that super deep voice, but I think I have a nice coffee voice. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy it. I hope you guys don't find it annoying, which I've heard that before, but you know, people are always going to say something. So what can you do? You know, I take it for what it is. I, it's always a, you know, when, when people talk shit about you or hate you or have jealousy or envy or talk down towards you or about you, to you or behind your back, it's just a reflection of themselves and their insecurities. It's where, that's really what it comes down to at the end of the day. When you really think about it, when you really analyze and like psychologically, like they're portraying their own insecurity. And it took me a long time to time under, really understand that and be able to look past that and not necessarily judge someone right away. Um, I mean, even though we all judge people, whether that's in a positive or negative way, we all have, you know, when we meet somebody or see something or see someone, we automatically in our brain come up with a perception. That, that's just human. Now, whether that perception is good or, you know, bad, that, that's a whole different story. But w what is a problem is that a lot of people will create these false narratives, false perceptions of someone else in their own mind. That's not even true. And you see that a lot with people that have envy towards you. Or that, you know, is low-key jealous. I mean, there, there, there's so many different situations. So it's really important to just stay wary of, of that and then be aware, be cautious. Because again, the, the, this life that we have we have to make sure that we're fulfilling what we're here to do, to be, to create, to lead. We're all here on a mission. We're all here for a reason. We're all here to learn a lesson. Lessons. Some. And yes, some have it much better than others. A lot better. And there's a lot of people that have it worse than others. A lot worse. And it's sad. It really is. But if you have the ability, depending on where you live, you can change your situation. There's no limit. The sky's, the sky's the fucking limit. 
there is no limit on what you can do in this play and how good you can do it. That's why I say try so many different things. It's okay to fail. You either realize you want to go again and try again and succeed, or you realize that maybe it's not for you. It doesn't have to always be for you. It isn't. It's okay to fail at things and try new things. Try a new job. Try a new career path. Try a new hobby. Try a new business. It's okay to do that. And it's okay to fail. And even at failing, I, mean, that, I use that word very loose, like, like loosely because it's like not even really failing when you actually really analyze it. It's just an experience that you gained wisdom from, good or bad. Honestly. But I just wanted to get on here and do like a little short bonus clip. Um, this isn't a full podcast or anything. I just wanted to get on and speak my mind. Um, there will be a full podcast today, though. Uh, but this is just like a bonus clip. But you guys know that you guys can email the show directly at justinthomasshow at gmail.com. Go to onairwithjt.com directly. And uh, yeah, I'll see you guys on the full podcast coming very soon. You're listening to On Air with JT, bonus clip, baby.